Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, it will be a super helpful video to any of you guys that have a BMW 3 or 4 series BMW. As you know, both of them share the same platform, same engines, guys. And if you're trying to locate where your exhaust camshaft position sensor is located, stay with us. We'll cover that today, guys. We'll show you the location. We'll explain what needs to be done to remove and replace it. Now, quick introduction guys, every single car we get at the shop, including this one here guys, we make more than 200 videos. On this one specifically, we'll probably have close to 300-400 videos. Why? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. Oh, in, in return, please subscribe to your channel and like the video guys, hopefully you will find the information helpful. Now, if you guys need to buy any replacement parts, tools, camshaft position sensor, anything like that, links will be in the description of the video below, so please check it out guys, all that will be shared there for your convenience. In today's video guys, we will show you where that sensor is located and what needs to be done to get to it. Now, another thing now guys, if you want to see the replacement video from start to finish, everything about that, we have it on our main channel, how to repair guys. Okay, we have quite a few mechanical videos taking the whole engine apart, we just did a timing chain replacement as well, so quite a few videos guys are there, check it out. This one actually, that chain failed only at 87,000 miles. And if you want to see electrical videos for that BMW, they will be uploaded to our third channel guys, Electrical Car Repair Life. You need to check it out if you want to learn more about electrical problems, engine codes, transmission codes, things like that. So, now, we need to go ahead, open the hood guys, and what I'm going to do, I'll remove the engine cover so I can show you with a great detail where things are. So, here we have three mounts guys, one, two, three, right here. Go ahead, pull that thing up. Now, okay, on the back side we have two guides, kind of like right here. Lift it up, slide it out. The engine attaches, okay, to these three mounts right here, you can see. One, two, three. Those are the two plastic guides. And if you come this way now, okay, let me show you. If you come this way, that's where it attaches. You can see one mount, second mount, the third mount over there. I'm going to pull that foam piece so I can show you a little bit better where things are. And now guys, looking at it now, okay, this is your intake manifold, intake, uh, throttle body intake manifold. So this is the intake camshaft. The exhaust camshaft is on this side because this is where the exhaust manifold is. So this is the exhaust camshaft. This is the variable timing uh, actuator phaser guys for the exhaust camshaft but where is the camshaft position sensor because you need to read the position of your camshaft so the timing and everything has to work as it should guys so looking at it guys okay this wire all the way down there this is your guys exhaust camshaft position sensor it looks like this one but this is on the intake side it has only one bolt like this one okay you can kind of see where the bolt is so I actually went ahead and removed the air filter box so I can show you the exhaust camshaft position sensor and it is right here guys you can see if you want to see how to remove the uh, air filter box okay we will have the video guys on our main channel how to repair guys check it out if you need to see how to remove the air filter box to gain more room check it out it will be shared there so you can actually access it because otherwise you won't be able to access it. So all we have to do, remove one bolt and you will be able to remove the exhaust camshaft position sensor. You will need that too guys, we'll have the link in the description of the video below, it's called a female or reverse torques, so we'll have those listed as well, but that's where it's located. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to do that, thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.